This could be the answer to all of our prayers. Intro. We still don't have an intro yet. Um, it's too early in the game to know if that's going to work out. Um, just getting all the, getting the shop warmed up, getting all the lights turned on. Oh, man. Hey Dozer, sometimes I forget that like some of you guys are new and you don't know me or this dog. Hey Doz, this is my 10 year old boxer, Dozer. He's pretty aggressive. My name is Matt. I have another YouTube channel called Demos Ranch. We just play with fun toys over there. I have another YouTube channel called Vet Ranch. Um, we just play with fun animals over there. Um, I am a veterinarian. That's what catches a lot of people off guard because they're like, they see me on Demos Ranch and they're like, you're a veterinarian? Yeah, right. Uh, I am. I am the weirdest veterinarian you'll ever meet. Nice to meet you. Uh, I also have a family. Beautiful wife. Stunning. Stunning is a better word. Stunning wife. Um, three beautiful little kiddos. They're, they're stunning as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just trying to make it out here in this world. I also have this channel where I put things like my 1989 AM General Military Humvee. It's a retired, an actual retired military Humvee. The problem with this Humvee right now is it does not actually drive. It did not too long ago. So these Humvees have a known issue where they don't start very well. Um, sometimes it can be as simple as just needing better grounding. So I ordered this little cable kit. I'm gonna install it in the truck. I don't anticipate that that's the problem because there's two other things that it could be. Um, but this was the cheapest one, so I'm going with that first. We're gonna put this in the truck today and Fingers crossed, man, that would be so awesome if it just cranked right up. But I think there's a 10% chance of that happening. I think there's a 90% chance it will do nothing and I will have wasted this money. So I got this nice pre-cut, all ready to go grounding harness and direction. So this one goes to the cylinder head, this one goes to the body, the alternator, the PCB, and the starter. So if I hook all this up and it still doesn't start, that's okay. Like that, it wasn't a total failure because that probably means the PCB is bad, from what I understand. And the PCB can go bad because of that grounding. So even if the PCB is my problem, and I go put a new one in there, which it costs like $600, uh, it still could go out again. The new one would go out if I didn't have this. So I need to do this anyway. That's why I decided this is a good first step for me. it. Moment of truth. Will the white light turn on? What? Yes! Woo! Woo! Yes! 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 Woo! Okay. I can't actually start yet because I have like tons of excess wire like hanging. I gotta like get some zip ties to type the wire. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Hey guys. A little, a little excited over here. I <laughs> know! It's awesome! Well, yeah, hopefully. I mean. The weight light turned on, hopefully the whole truck turned on. We shall see. Like for instance, this long wire that went to the starter, so that grounded out the starter there, but it's just kind of dangling like, uh, you know, a good foot and a half under the truck. Not ideal, but I got zip ties, a redneck's best friend, so I'm just gonna zip tie them all up, away from our exhaust here, 
Probably just go along this brake line right here. Should be good to go. Much better. Whoever said zip ties aren't classy, well, they've never had a Humvee. The classiest vehicle ever. One more question for all you military guys who know about Humvees. Um, this is the top of the transmission. And so what is this silver tube here? And the reason I ask is because it has a cable coming out of the end and, you can't, and see it's broken. There used to be an attachment that attached it to that other cable there. Is that like some sort of overdrive or something for the transmission? Um, probably, I, I don't know. It's movable, as is this but it looks like it just the tip is broken off, the tip that hooked it onto that. Problem or nah? This is the mother of all cold starts because it's been like two weeks since it's run. Oh, it's so good to see that weight light. So it turns off when the glow plugs are warm. Come on, baby. Come, oh, yes. What are we gonna do? Yes! <laughs> Woo! So happy I don't have to spend 600 bucks on a new PCB. Yes! That was so simple. So simple. I haven't been able to drive this thing in so long and it just... Boom! Woo! The other day I put this new seat cushion in up here because it was just all ripped and looked terrible. Um, and then I thought, that was pretty cool. That was a good little investment. Now I have a brand new seat cushion. And so, come over here, I'll show you one more thing. This was the old seat cushion on the passenger back and it's like totally hard. So these don't have any springs in the back. The driver's seat has some springs. None of the others do. I mean, they're just, they're metal. Humvees are not made for comfort. Humvees are made for pain. So this thing, for some reason, like there's like no padding in here. Like I'm assuming it wasn't there. It just is all squished down now, but it's, it's just like a rock. So I replaced it and it came with a two pack. So I replaced the back too, because the, the back was kind of stained and just like, it looks like sweat stained on it. So now my right rear passenger can ride in, well, as comfortable as you can get in a Humvee. But now I'm kind of like, well, this green looks nice and new and now this seat's old. Maybe I'll just, I'm gonna replace all the cushions eventually, but we got about half the seats looking pretty nice in this thing. I think it's time to go on a little celebratory drive. Before we go on a ride, I would like to dedicate this ride and say thanks to a few guys who helped me out. I'm gonna read their names, I'm reading from my email. Justin Mantooth, Antonio D'Amato, Bryant Euler, CJ Humvee Life, Daniel Baltz, Justin Hill, Bryce Lineweber, Josh Wise. Those guys all emailed me trying to help me fix this thing. When I asked for help, you guys all sent me, hey, you need to check grounding first, and then you go to the glow plugs, and then you go to the PCB, and then you, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your time. Thank, some of you guys wrote up huge lists of things to check. Some of you guys drew pictures, diagrams, and I'm sure there's a few emails I missed, so I'm sorry if I missed your name. I appreciate, I greatly appreciate everybody helping me out. I also used um, a website called um, Gear Report. This guy's like got a, he calls it Battle Wagon or something, Humvee, and like, He's like done all this stuff, so I also used his pictures. Also, a lot of you guys, most of you guys are military. Thank you for your service. You guys are awesome. It's good to be back. I feel like we need some music. Dun 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 Uh oh, just kidding. Yeah! Alright, let's roll. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. remember when we first met and you said you're cute you're smart but, but I really wish you drove a Humvee you said I always wanted a man who could fix a Humvee and I I said I don't know if I can ever be that man yeah you can get in the Humvee I'm that man today babe you're welcome 
Oh yeah, look what we did over there. Oh, that's impressive too. Oh, you got yeah. the you got the uh, printer. printer thing out. Cool. Why do we need a really huge you printer? Print coloring pages for the kids. Oh, giant you coloring really pages. Really big one. It looks. I mean, it's huge. What is it? What do we do? That life size Moana coloring page. That can happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, it prints film. Film for, for what? To make screens. So this printer prints a piece of paper. No. No? Prints a film. Okay. Like clear plastic film. Mm. And then you make a screen out of that that you use a screen to print on a t-shirt. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Annie? Is she on the show? Annie, how'd you get up there? You goobers. So this is a knocked over wash station. We're gonna put some legs on this wash station. So this thing is a wash, it's a bathtub. It's got lights behind it and you put like your screens up in here and then you clean the chemicals and paint and stuff off of them and it has just this orange glow so that you can have it like there's a certain thing you have to do in a dark room so this is in case you want to put it in a dark room um you can have the orange glow and it's not too bright to screw something up i don't know this looks kind of exactly like the bathtub that we're going to be getting in the vet clinic soon to bathe dogs That's in. really what it reminds me of. Yeah, I mean, we're getting a big stainless steel bathtub. It's deeper. It has a ramp for dogs, but otherwise it's pretty similar. You okay? Did you fall over and I missed it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, do you need a hand? This is why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> hey, we're doing our very first special ever in the warehouse and on the Ranch Merch website. So, the special is we're, we're packaging a hat and the muzzle brake shirts. So let me show you, if you don't remember, muzzle brake shirts have our, our logo on the front and then they have, if you don't know what this is, you're an amateur and we can't be friends. So normally these shirts are 25 and the hats are 25. We're doing everything for $35. So it's a, sorry, sorry, it's a little bouncy. So it's $15 worth of savings for you. Hey, how long are we running this? The deal ends this Friday, the Friday of this week. Go check it out. If you've been wanting to get one of these shirts, one of these hats, this is the time to do it for a little cheaper. Thank you. I'm not crying. There's just sand from Afghanistan in my eyes. We took the kiddos to see a movie and then we went out to eat. And did you like it? Was it fun? And now it's, it's bedtime. Oh, look at you two just, just cuddling over there being cute. Annie, from day one, has been our cuddliest. Addie never wanted to cuddle with us. She just wanted to do her own thing, be a big girl. Annie, though, that's why she's the Annie love bug. Do you like cuddling? <laughs> I remember one time when Addie was like a year old, she got a fever, and so she felt really bad. And I was home alone with her. Mare was at work, I think. And Hello. Hi. And she felt so bad she laid her head down on my chest and just like laid there. And I got my phone out and I took a selfie and I sent it to Mayor because I was so excited. And I was so jealous. Mm -hmm. I was like, she finally laid down on me. She was like a year old. Like this girl just did not cuddle. Lincoln was kinda of in the middle. He kinda of cuddled, kinda of did his own thing. Annie though, she could lay right there forever. <laughs> All right, For her whole life. we gotta put kids in bed. Until she's 140? <laughs> Mom would probably be okay with that. Mom, I hope you look as good as you do today when you're 160. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching off the rant. We love you and we'll see ya next time. <laughs>